Come gather round, Miss Martha's got a story. Can't wait to hear where it all might take us this time. Everyone knows that treasure lies inside these pages. We want to be hanging out with story. Everybody wants to be there when Miss Martha reads. Hi, friends. Welcome to Miss Martha Reads Storytime. I'm Miss Martha, and I want to thank you so much for joining me today for another creative story. Before we get started, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to take a trip to Mars? Well, in today's story, we will hear all about a little boy who does just that. The title of today's story is The Journey to Mars. It will be read by my friend, Oliver Boyd, a fourth grader who attends the Ghent School in Norfolk, Virginia. And guess what? Oliver is also the author and the illustrator of this story. Let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, so that we can hear all about this journey to Mars. Hello, my name is Oliver Boyd, and the title of my story is The Journey to Mars, written and illustrated by Oliver Boyd. This is Mike. He is a boy. Mike wants to do something that no one has ever done. <clears throat> no person has ever gone to Mars, Mike said, so I think I'll go to Mars. Mike built a rocket, complete with all the tools necessary for a trip to Mars. Mike is almost ready. He packed a bag with a spacesuit and supplies. Now he is ready for a space adventure. At night, Mike says goodbye to his family. He's on board the rocket. Mike starts to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, the rocket says. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! The rocket flies in the sky. Neighbors watch as the rocket gets smaller and smaller. Mike is soon in space, but he still has a long journey ahead of him. This will take a while, he says to himself. Mike does many things during the journey. He reads, plays video games, sleeps, and floats around whenever he feels like it. Finally, the rocket lands on Mars. Mike puts on his spacesuit. As he steps as he steps out, he says, One step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Mike plants a flag with a big orange M on it. I did it, he yells. Mike starts to gather samples. He needs proof that he went to Mars. While Mike is collecting a sample, 
he notices a small alien following him. Feeling stupid, Mike asks the alien, Do you need something? The alien leaps onto Mike's shoulders happily. Mike is pleased. He has a new pet and someone to keep him company on his adventure. For the next week, the alien follows Mike around eagerly. Mike enjoys his new companion. At last, it is time for Mike to go home. The alien follows. When Mike and the alien return, everyone is happy to see them. Mike had a fun time on Mars, and he will never forget the incredible experience. Thank you for listening to my story. Wow! What an amazing story about Mars. Thank you, Oliver, for sharing your wonderful story with us. I think you did an amazing job writing it as well. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, you know I always have to remind you to practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best reader that you can be. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day and I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Mm -hmm.